Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the fly lady routine. I know I talked about this before. I think it was in 2017. I was really trying hard to follow the fly lady system and whether you have no idea what the fly lady is, who she is, how it works, or if it's something that you've done before and you want to pick it up again, this video will probably be helpful for you because every time I start to do the fly lady routine, I kind of have to give myself a little bit of a refresher course. So the fly lady is Marla Silly, and here is her book, Sync Reflection. So if you haven't read this book, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. She also has her own YouTube channel, and there is also a woman called Kat who really, really has great information on all things fly lady. So I'll leave both of their links below as well. I've actually been watching Kat's videos all week long as I prepare myself to start doing this once again. So I thought I would just tell you guys a little bit about what the fly lady system is, why it really works for me when I am feeling overwhelmed and I need more structure in my life. It's just very, very helpful when I kind of have lost control of my house. <laughs> and um, I'll tell you a little bit about how it works today. And then over the next several weeks, if you guys are interested, I will make some more videos just kind of breaking down the system into smaller, um, more descriptive videos about all of the different things that you need to do to get the Fly Lady system incorporated in your home. And before we get started, I'm gonna share with you a story of something that happened to me this morning that let me know in a kind of weird way that I made the right decision in starting off January doing the Fly Lady system again. Yesterday, I was reading the book before I went to bed. I was just kind of skimming through, going through different things that I earmarked the last time I was doing the Fly Lady system. And as I was going to sleep, I was thinking to myself, I know there's an app for this. And I remember using it. I think it's called Fly Lady Plus. And every single day you open the app and it tells you what your routine is that day, all of the things you're supposed to do in your house, and you're supposed to follow it every day. And it's just a really great reminder. And I just love having it on my phone. Phone. So when I woke up this morning, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to see if I can buy the app or if I had it at one time. I don't remember if I deleted it because I haven't used it in a couple of years. I opened my phone first thing in the morning to this. Can you guys see that? That is the app and it's open to the home page. And this was my phone this morning. I unlocked the screen and that's what it was. <laughs> and I was really, it was just the weirdest, craziest thing. And I guess it was a sign, but again, there's no way I could have even done it in my sleep because I would have had to search the app store and try to find it and things like that. So weird, right? There's a lot of weird things that have happened in my house <laughs> if you guys have been following my channel. But anyway, moving on from that, um, I was making notes of just kind of the things that really you should start incorporating if you're going to do the Fly Lady cleaning routine. So just to give you a general idea of how it works, you begin with shining your sink. That is the very first thing that you're going to do when you decide to take on this way of keeping your house in order. Because if there's no dishes in your sink and the kitchen is clean and the sink the shink, <laughs> the sink is shiny. Um, it's supposed to just kind of give you that boost to get everything else going. So that is the number one thing that she talks about in the book and she's very descriptive in how to clean it in different ways and different types of sinks and all of those things. And again, she has a video about it as well here on YouTube. Then you're going to dress to shoes and wearing shoes in the house is a very odd thing for a lot of people. But I have to say having something on your feet just makes you feel more excited about getting things done around the house. And I know that myself just by getting dressed in the morning and not keeping my pajamas on for too long is really, really a game changer and really gives me that boost to get the day going where if I go downstairs and make coffee and keep my pajamas on for a little bit longer, it takes me way longer to start my day. So it definitely helps to get up in the morning, brush your teeth, wash your face, get fully dressed, two shoes, make sure you wear your shoes and start your day. So that's kind of the very beginning of it. 
And once you get into that routine, shining your sink and getting dressed as soon as you get out of bed, getting ready for the day, that is like the kickoff to the whole fly lady system. And then you're going to start your morning and evening routines. And once you set those routines into place, and she does give you an example of what the routines should entail, and I'll tell you guys about that too. Once those routines are in place and practiced and you are doing them on a daily basis, then you can start incorporating the zone cleaning. There are five zones, and every week, starting with zone one, week one, of the month, you have a certain area of the house that you're going to focus on deep cleaning or for me at the beginning stages decluttering. So that's just a kind of general idea of how it works. And what I have done was I put together what is called a control journal. And in this book, this little binder that I've created for myself, there's different sections. So what I have first is my morning routine. <laughs> and this, is, this was with my uh, 15 days of socks, princess 15 days of socks, and it has a princess to-do list, and I just thought it was cute and fun, so I just stuck it in there. But anyway, the first section is going to be the morning routine, and then this section I have my before bedtime routine, and this is basically right from her book. She also has a website, I think I printed it from there a long time ago. And then here are the weekly routines. And the zones so it tells you how to deep clean each area of your house there is a list of every single thing that you should look for such as dust bunnies or cleaning the glass or emptying the garbage and cleaning out the garbage can just whatever room you're in there's a very detailed list that tells you step by step all the things that you should try to focus on on each day of the week when you're in that zone but we're jumping way ahead there we're gonna start with the morning routine so Again, if you guys are interested, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do like a vlog style, what my morning routine is, and then maybe I'll do another one for evening routine. And maybe I'll even walk you guys through the different zones as I do them so you can have a real life kind of experience of what it's like and maybe you'll decide to do it along with me and that would be a lot of fun because you know, we're all in this together. So it would be fun to do it together and tackle our houses and get things in order because I am feeling pretty overwhelmed right now, especially after the holidays. It is January 3rd today and I haven't even begun packing away my Christmas decorations. So I am really behind. Okay, so the morning routine is you're going to make your bed as soon as you get out of it, as long as no one else is in it. For me, I usually have to wait because <laughs> I'm one of the first ones up in the morning. And then you're going to the bathroom and you're going to either shower or just wash your face and get ready for the day. You're going to swish the toilet, so you don't need to use any chemicals or cleaners. You just take the brush and swish it. You're going to leave the bedroom with a load of laundry in hand and bring it right to the laundry room and get the laundry going. This is something that I have been doing for a very long time, even though I kind of fell off the whole following the zone cleaning. My morning and evening routines are basically what she's telling me to do is what I have always done. So that's good. At least I have that part down already. Okay, and then once you head to the kitchen, you can make your coffee or tea and start breakfast, and then you're going to feed the family, including feeding yourself. And then you're supposed to check your calendar, make your to-do list, plan what you're having for dinner, and you're going to maybe take a look at your checkbook if you need to. Reboot the laundry and then you're going to hit any hot spots in the house. I know for me that's usually like our mudroom area, especially as the kids are off to school. And then I usually have to go through the living room area because there's always stuff left there, pillows and blankets and things like that. So there's certain areas of your house that tend to get messy multiple times a day. So in the morning, you're going to just quickly tidy up those areas. Then after that, you're supposed to have a little bit of downtime, take medicine, vitamins if you need 
to kind of sit down, relax, finish your coffee or your breakfast if you really didn't have an opportunity to do so. Maybe check your email, have a little bit of computer time, just have like a little bit of a break. So my morning routine is very much like this. The only thing that is kind of different is I do yoga as soon as I wake up in the morning. I'm doing the 30 days of yoga with Yoga with Adrienne, who I love her channel. I'll leave a link above if you guys want to check out um, my review of her channel because she is great and I'm really enjoying the 30 days of yoga that she has for the month of January. But anyway, other than that, that's pretty much the way my morning goes. And this can be for somebody who is working or not working. I work from home, so I'm able to really stick pretty true to this. And then during the afternoon, I have a combination of hitting the zones when she tells me to do certain areas of the house, I try to attack that. And then I also have my own computer work and things to do around the house. So I have to balance that. And then you're going to put into practice your before bedtime routine. Now this is the most important routine to follow because it really sets you up for the following day. So here is what she tells you to do before before you go to bed at night, like around dinner time. So you're going to pick up things in the living room. You're going to clean up the kitchen, sign, why can't I say shine? <laughs> shine your sink, make sure all the dishes are done, all the counters are wiped down, vacuum up or sweep up any areas where there might be crumbs on the floor, just a quick clean up in the kitchen. And then again, you're going to clear any hot spots, maybe like the entryway or the mudroom or any area of the house that might have gotten cluttered by the end of the day. Even if you did it in the morning, I know in my case, I have to do it multiple times of day, especially certain areas of the house, like the living room, and the mudroom area need to be kind of checked on multiple times and I need to pick things up a lot in those areas of the house. Okay, so once you have all of those things done, you're going to check your planner or your calendar for appointments, just kind of see what you have ahead of you for the next day and you're going to start your to-do list think about what you can do to make tomorrow easier. And some of those things are laying out your clothes the night before because it does make life a lot easier. And I shared with you guys a while back, I am trying to lay out my clothes kind of for the week. So as I'm doing laundry and putting things away, I'm kind of putting outfits together and hanging them up in my closet in the order that I wanna wear them and taking the time to include jewelry, little accessories, just things to make you feel a little bit better and just to make sure you're using the things that you own. We tend to collect things and hold on to them forever, but never actually use them. So I found by doing this, I'm wearing certain jewelry that I haven't worn in a long time and just making sure that I'm taking more time to think about the way that I am heading out into the world every day. Sometimes if I don't give it any thought ahead of time, I am just a mess. I'm just grabbing anything out of my drawers and I don't look very well put together. Also a great thing to do if you have the time is to maybe set up what you're going to be making for dinner the following day or setting up what you're going to be making for breakfast. So if you're doing like a crock pot dinner, maybe taking out some of those ingredients so that you don't forget to do it in the morning, which happens to me a lot, or just putting out what you're going to be making for breakfast. Any little thing that you can do the night before to set you up for the next day is going to be incredibly helpful. And then of course, you're going to maybe shower or take a bath if you didn't do it in the morning. I like to shower at night because my days are busy and oftentimes I go to the gym in the afternoon. Even though I do yoga in the morning, I don't really work up much of a sweat doing yoga, but if I go to the gym later in the afternoon or in the early evening, I like to take my shower at night. So that just works for me, but whatever works for you. And then you're encouraged to kind of have some downtime, read a book, watch a movie. Um, you know, after you get the kids to bed, obviously, if you still have little kids at home, you're still going to have the time to make sure that they're bathed and they have brushed their teeth and you read a book to them or whatever it is that your bedtime routine is with your children. And once you get that done, you can have a little bit of time for self-care and you can give yourself a face mask, take a bath, just brush your teeth, read a book, settle down and get ready for bed. And then you begin again the next day. And that is how the AM and PM routines work. So again, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a more detailed vlog style of how I do my routines. And then we're going to get into the zone cleaning and 
the zones I'm going to talk about another day once I get to that stage. So like I said, there are five zones and I'll let you know what they are. So zone one is the entryway, the front porch, and the dining room, so those areas of your house. And then zone two is the kitchen. Zone three is the bathroom and one extra room of your choice. And that could be like a playroom or a child's bedroom, an office, things like that. I had a lot of uh, <laughs> different extra rooms in here. And that is what I use this binder for. Like I have my extra room. So if it's an office or a playroom, I have a list of the areas specifically that I need to clean to make it more of a deep cleaning. And then zone four is the master bedroom. And zone five is the living room, the family room, or the den. When you're first beginning, if your house is really cluttered, you are supposed to declutter in those zones rather than clean. So you're not even going to do the detailed cleaning at the beginning if you have clutter, which is where I'm at right now. So for instance, this week I am in zone one and I'm focusing on the entryway of the house and that is where our coat closet is and I need to purge a lot of stuff in there. That is currently where a lot of our holiday decorations are. So I'm going to be making that my main focus basically right now is getting all the Christmas stuff out. And then as I go through the zones, I'm going to just declutter for now. And hopefully once I work through it for the month of January with decluttering, I'll be able to focus more on the deep cleaning. So that is the plan. I hope that you found this helpful and inspiring and maybe it's giving you that little extra push to follow along with me and do it as well. I've done this so many times and it always gets me back on track. And sometimes after a while, I drop the ball with the deep cleaning and the zone cleaning, but I try to keep those routines in place no matter what. So that is the plan. I'm excited to bring you guys along as I once again incorporate the Fly Lady cleaning system into my life. And I hope that you will enjoy coming along. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure that you leave some comments for me. Let me know where you're at, what you're thinking, if you wanna be a part of this. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified every time I do post another video because I do hope to run a series of Fly Lady videos as I am once again incorporating this in my life. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.